Right, here we are. A little development video. We haven't done one for a few weeks, so let's have a look at a new entry to a flight game. This will be the HH60. It's going to be for Coast Guard civilian use, but this is his first look. And it's based on the Japanese SH60 from Hitoshi Yuchari. Or Yuchari? I can't pronounce his name, sorry. Yeah. Pilot tonight is Voodoo. I'll be sitting passenger. He'll be flying about as a little taxi driver. He's taking his life in his hands. Um, do we have different uh, loadouts? There's no loadouts in it yet, and there's no liveries yet. This is a basic model and flight model test. And it's got a nice cockpit. Uh, pretty much everything in the cockpit is functional. Uh, whether it works across multiplayer yet, I'm not quite sure. But uh, I'm in the wrong seat, so hang on, I'll scooch over. Super nice cockpit. Wow, we. Yeah, I've scooched over to my correct seat. I'm now in the left hand seat. Uh, auto start as normal. Uh, you can do blade folds and tail folding with it as well for whatnot. You can lock the tail wheel, you get the handbrake lever for your wheel brakes as well. Spinner up here. Spinner up. Um, it's not the same FDM as the UH60s, it's a slight difference in it. I've retuned it all. Uh, basically, this this will become the next generation UH60 FDM when I'm done with it. Goes. Yeah. yeah, I'm wondering if our uh, servers are still playing up. Uh, um, well, you haven't, yeah, dropped player servers. you haven't dropped on my screen yet, so it's fine. My frame rates are horrible. Mm. Like eight. No, it could be the cockpit in this, mind you. It is very, very detailed. Or it could be the scenery. Just don't kill me when you take off, please. Yeah, viewed from a distance, I'm at 30, so... Just refreshing my live weather, the live weather is quite breezy at the moment. Yeah, I'm on border high pressure. I'll set mine the same end, so... You just died. I'm just on my way back in. That's crazy. No. I was watching the memory rise and I don't know why the memory leaked somewhere. But I haven't had that all day, it's just tonight it's done it. Go, I'm in, I'll just get back in the cockpit. Welcome aboard, I'm Doodoo. Okay, I'm in and you're flying, so you must have got off the ground okay. I did. Well it wasn't okay, but I got off the ground without dying, so what the heck? She flies like a big, heavy monster. It's actually quite agile when you push it, but uh, I wouldn't recommend pushing it just yet to get the hang of it. Yeah, I can feel that. Let's go over here and check out the new stuff that you've got. We'll push it. Past the fire station. There's 
no extra views configured yet, it's just really the, the cockpit views at the moment. Yeah, I turned them off. This is, uh, you're the first person to get their hands on them, so... So don't wreck it. So don't wreck it. It hasn't even got any paint yet, it's just white. Yeah. Rot rotor animation is a bit stuttery at the moment, but that's, I think that's the multiplayer issue thing. Ah. Don't hit the wires, don't hit the wires, don't hit the wires. Oh god. I don't know if I'm picking up wind or what the hell. It it's, seems it's told like you, it, 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 well, no, you see this. Ah. No, wires, wires, wires. What the touchy on the controls? Oh, I mean, it's just really touchy. It can be really touchy, yes. There's no SES or anything like that yet. The SDM is just raw. There's no artificial um, suppression on it at the moment or control over it. There is a little bit of lagging between us at the moment if anyone goes to the video. Seems to be quite a bit of lag on input control for me. Might be low frame rates. Ah! So when I tell it to go up, it doesn't go up, and then when it finally put enough control in to make it go up, it goes jumping up. That's really ticking me off. See, I'm out for the tree, thank you. There's a lot of lag, actually. Servers are still not quite happy with that from yesterday. Anyway, see, I don't, I don't know why she's pushing her nose down right there. Uh, uh. I'm having quite the trouble um, controlling this helicopter. Ah. <laughs> Alright, okay, you're having issues with it, but that's... Ah! You're alright, you're alive, mostly. What? Jeez Louise! This, uh, the, um, there's a lot of... Well, there's a lot <laughs> Not of anymore. There's a lot of lag when we're dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, a lot of lag. Uh, lag's killing me here. Let's, um, let's try the other helicopter and see, see if um, it's... Let's try a different location. Get away from it. Um, go to my home base, Echo Golf, Oscar Yankee. I'll meet you there. Uh, what, are you, are you keeping this helicopter? Try it again. Sure. sure. Right, Echo Golf, Oscar Yankee. Uh, nothing that. No scenery specific stuff there, so it's quite sparse. So it's um, if it's the scenery is causing lag, we'll soon find out for you, or if it's the servers, which I suspect it might be actually. But yeah, it was bad, man. I mean, uh, low frame rates, uh, <laughs> helicopter flying low flight rate, frame rates is not the cockpit is really highly detailed, though, so that also may be a problem. I'm waiting for you. I'm on the ground. Sitting on the tar. Sitting in tar? Sitting on the tar. On the ground. Uh -huh. Getting a whole uh, 60 FPS. And we're back. And I'm running 30. That's, That's uh -huh. much better. Welcome aboard. I'm Voodoo. Right, let's try again, eh? Obviously, obviously, I can't see your engine gauges or instrumentation properly across multiplayer but at the moment. So the idea with this, SC, this HH60 will be uh, for Coast Guard slash SAR 
type stuff. To give it its full title, the HH-60 Jayhawk. Border high pressure again. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still seeing the, the animations stuttering, so I think there's still uh, issues with the motor just ever tonight. I mean, I'm getting 32 FPS outside the chopper mode. Inside it, no, it's not. So, over to you, Mr. Pilot. No. Hey! Very nice. Very nice. What happened? As soon as it gets off the ground, I get single digit frame rates and it falls over. Done. Done. Okay. As soon as it takes off. Yep. As soon as it lifts off the ground, it went to like one FPS and froze, and then it just tipped left, and that was the end of that. That's strange. Uh, something's going on. Something's. Weirds going on. Well, let's, let's, let's try. Let's try it the other way around. Let's me do the pilot bit, and you do the crew bit. Swap over. Hey, hang on. Let me kill this. Just changing over now. Oh. Same here, Fields. I know the splashing screen says black hole, it's because I haven't changed it yet. Yeah, the splashing uh, the player crew person is some crazy looking thing. Don't worry about it. I don't. It looks good. It's out there. I'm in the oh, tower. Yeah. Let me know when you're in the seat. Border high pressure again. Sit in your lap. I'll scooch over. I don't like people sitting in my lap. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Starting up. Spinning up. Does everyone look animation wise? The blades look okay to you, or do you or stop your study? You got uh, rope animations. Well, you have a little freeze there, a little lag, but. Hmm. What's your frame rate? Mm, about 21, 23. Right, I'm at 30 at the moment. Okay, we're spun up. So, this is a little test. If it isn't my passenger, but I'm flying him. Fly me, Stuart. Fly me. I'm running dirty now. Frame rates was causing you problems. 
Yeah, frame rate still now is about 30, but I'm still getting uh, um, just like grabs, like lags. Yeah, that's what I was getting as well, so that's the multiplayer server. Still not happy from last night's issues. So here we are, Black Hawk. Well, not Black Hawk, it's not Black Hawk, it's, it's a J Hawk. Looks like a Black Hawk, but it's not. It has a family resemblance. Haha! <laughs> It has its mother's nose. Yeah, well, sort of. Alex thinks we should call it Pinocchio. Oh yeah, I'm getting all kinds of stuttering and lagging over MP here. Okay, so that's... Sarah's not happy. Okay. Uh, anyway, here we are. Black Hawk. Well, sorry, J-Hawk. Yeah, HH-60 J-Hawk. Cockpit's mostly, mostly functional, but we'll still get some of the warning panels to sort out. Uh, try and get some of the function across multiplayer so you'll be able to see what's happening as well. Um, no paint work yet, it's just painted white with the black nose. Uh, but um, the FDM is an evolution of the Black Hawk FDM, and this will be used as the basis of the next Black Hawk. Um, pretty much. Uh, nice scenery. It's my home. My house is just. Come up to my house just at the moment here. Yeah. Tell you what I'm passing over it. Passing over my house now to so get my wife. Yo, yo! Yeah, anyway, uh, so. This will be used for the Coast Guard rule slash our rules. It's not going to be armed military wise. It's uh, shipboard capable, folding blades, folding tail. Um, it's got the mid set undercarriage so you can land in shorter heli decks on ships rather than the full length tail wheel at the back job or a normal black box makes landing on ships a little bit tricky. I'm flying with one hand here when I'm trying to talk, by the way, so... Let's... That looks spectacular. Yeah, it's good. I think it'll work out pretty well. Um, I'll have um, the rescue guy equipment on it as well, such like should be a functional chopper when it's done. So this is its uh, first proper outing. Uh, autopilot wise uh, at the moment it works uh, on direction control and uh, actually AGL oh, works. Uh, other modes are not functional yet. This is the white lock we're passing over the moment. I disconnected him up to server 19. No, 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 19. Any good? No, it's frozen solid now. <laughs> wow. But it's not even giving me an option for like one or two or. Try, try 15, because they said 15 last night was the one to use. Welcome aboard, I'm WF01. Yes, I am. Ooh, this is better. Is it? Oh yeah, 50. 53 FPS and no grabbing, no stuttering, no freezing, no locking. Wow. Alrighty, hold on. That tells you right there that the whole problem is a stinking multiplayer server. Mmm, no server's broken. So, 15 is the one to use for the next test. Um, right, so, this is it, basically. Um, can't get a few bucks because he's now patting Jackie's sitting twiddling his thumbs and getting his feet up the dashboard at the moment. 
What's this do? Don't, don't touch the blade fold. Don't touch the blade fold. It's like put. It's like putting it into uh, reverse when you're going down the highway. Yeah, I know you well now. So you learn something new every day. It's like even the uh, multiplayer server selection can affect frame rates mightily. It's even in what this really cool cockpit I'm running, 35 FPS. Um, good sense. We're going to land. Like this helicopter. Um, yeah, it flies. It flies a little bit better than the our other Black Hawks at the moment. I said this is a, a little bit more refined, a bit more time went into the FDM in it. But this, the changes I've made to on this FDM will filter into the other Black Hawks when I go to do them again. For the next upgrade, whenever that may be. I'm going to fly it when I get some server action though. Maybe I'll fly it without being an MP just to get the taste. Shutting down. It's just going to do the blade fold and tail fold stuff. I have to do it from inside the cockpit with the switches. Just have to let the blade stop Ooh. first. Yeah, that won't do to fold them up with, uh, with them still moving. Huh? No, I didn't like that at all. Will that, uh, will that crash you? What do you mean, when you try to fold the blades when you're flying? Oh no, I mean like now if they were still moving and you tried to fold them, would that create a crash? I don't know and I'm not going to try. Roger that. Now they're stationary. Yeah, main blades are folding. They're not folding in the right direction though, but they're folding. First we take the fold. I'm not getting it over MP. So. Uh, I'll need to do the multiplayer animation for that. Same with the doors, I haven't redone them yet. Right, so the blades fold, but uh, they fold just where the blades stop rotating. And needs a way of uh, centering the blade to synchronize the blade fold properly. But the blade fold does work. You can't see though, but you will eventually. Oh, is this still part of Timmy's fancy scenery? Must be. No, this is just my normal home scenery. Wow, it looks nice here. There we go. Blade folded. Right, so do you want to grab the HM1 as a pilot, come back here, and I'll try and jump in your seat. What server number are you on? Voodoo, what server, multiplayer server were you using? Uh, I'm on 15 now. I'll try to. Um, I'm going to switch to that. Right, I'll, I'll switch to 15 and come back in as passenger for the Merlin. And you can see what you think of that latest FDM. And that was the Westland Merlin HM1? Yes. It's getting an upgrade. It wasn't due. It was due one, to be honest. It's been out for about three or four years, and it wasn't in all that great condition. But I've done the, done some cockpit work on it. Uh, I've redone the FDM. I've done uh, we're working on the blade animations at the minute. The blades weren't uh, animating properly, but they're getting there. Um, lots more changes to come, really. Right, 
coming back in as passenger. Okay, jump on the spawn. Live data for uh, weather this time. What are you doing? Live weather. No, it's really, really, really badly windy here at the minute. Well, you can, well, you can, I always test an FDM and co high pressure when there's no weather interference so I can get a feel for the, the nature of the FDM before the weather is applied. But that's just me. Then when I'm happy with it, then I start applying the well and see how it behaves. Looking for the lights. You can't do the what? Looking for the uh, landing lights. Land lights are <laughs> landing lights are on the retracts with the gear, so they go off with the gear is up. Okay. At the moment, I may change that. Up. I'm not getting you. Hang on. Mm, the multiplayer crew part of this one doesn't work. Anyway. Well, what? Uh. Must have made a mistake. Emmy. I'll watch you, third person. And it happens. So, what weather are you running? Well, I'm on border high pressure again now. Since you seem to be worried about the real live weather, I don't even know about difficulty. Still getting a little bit of laggy laggy with you. I'm on server 15 as well. Start, there we go, I start getting up to speed now. Start up, it takes into account all three engines now. Oh, there's an animation. Three engines, wow! Yeah, there's a door animation over multiplayer issue there. The side door seems to be caved in. But it's that. There, she's sounding like she's up to speed now. Let's see. No SAS fade yet, it is just raw. Jeez, oh, oh, yes, there's something definitely. Uh, the, the animation's interfering with the, the door over multiplayer. Yeah. Just see it in the video playback. It doesn't do that on single player, it's doing it on multiplayer. I'm going to be redoing the dual animations, so it shouldn't be an issue shortly. This is where we do things, we test things to see the work of a multiplayer. Huge lag right there. I don't see it. I'm seeing it quite smooth at the minute. This this door is kind of freaking me out. Wow! I love the roads and the lanes with the trees along them. These are nice, man. Wow, this thing flies very nicely. It's much better than the original version. Oops. Ah. Just knocks it there. Good, but I mean. Um, you know, the old green screens are now gone. You know, colorless plays in their place now. Wow, this thing is powerful. It is. Um, it's a major headache because it is quite powerful for its weight. Um, 
a lot of problem getting the thing to fly properly because it, the, the torque calculations, the way the flight model calculates torque between all three engines, it literally just rips the transmission apart. So a lot of problem tuning it to get it to work. Agility? It is working now. Um, the previous version, the only took into account two engines because we didn't know how to do the three third engine then. But this one is run probably on three engines at the full output power, which is a lot. Tons of lift and power, it's fast, it's maneuverable. It seems like you could probably much hook up a tanker and just pick it up. Well. I don't know about that, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's just got tons of power. It has, it has got tons of power. I'll be redoing uh, the door animations to the new, st the new standard that we have, uh, and uh, I should cure the, the door animation issue there, because it's obviously interfering with some, I think it's probably just to get boots to uh, move the door. I think. Yeah, careful, wheel brakes will be on, you're coming kind of fast! <laughs> I like this monkey. Um, you're good for 150 knots. Got the latest nav display, and do you notice the nav display is overlaid on the map as well? Uh, no. You can't see that. Uh, I didn't look for it. Uh, you get the two, you know, two primary displays, top and bottom, and then you get a display to the left. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Mm. There's the terrain height map. Uh, with the navigation data overlaid on top of it. So, and it's calibrated to the right range at the minute, so it's got it's set for 20 miles at the moment. So, the terrain and the nav icons all match up where they should be. In theory. 133 knots. I got my vegetation shadows on. Those look pretty nice. So you think that one flies pretty well? well I'm really liking this, actually. Those double-digit frame rates helps a lot. <laughs> lines and the hills across to your yeah, sort of a 10 o'clock position there are correct by the way. That's where the trees actually are. Yeah, I wish my home airport looked as good as this does. Um, she's fully ship capable as well. Um, I did take it out and land it in a few ships, but the engine killed me after I was trying to land it and I got slapped in the belly with the, sh the deck of the ship. But otherwise, apart from that, if you're careful enough and good enough, you can get it on, on and off ships. Um, you can get it on the Iron Duke uh, frigate, uh, Type 20, Type 20 C frigate, I think it is. Yep, but anything small on that and you would push your luck. This is a big job. So 
sideways. Oh, doom, dead. Oh, I forgot my weeks. My wheels are locked. Yeah, that helps to take the brake off. I, I did turn this off when I took off. Anyway, oh, that one's pretty decent. Yep. So that's the two for this week. So, bet we didn't get a, a proper test of the SH60 though, but never mind. We'll get that next week. Try again next week. I'll see if we can fix the door animations on that one. They'll fix the servers. And the servers. Okay, all right. I'll terminate that video there. Thank you for test piloting my aircraft. Thanks for flying along.